up here, and it's gonna come right out the bottom. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that freaked me out. Whoa, that's so fast! I thought I was gonna die for a second. You can be losers, set me free! You make me win! We are in Saigon, it's morning time. There is hustle and also bustle, traffic, people getting to work, and more importantly, people getting to breakfast. If you love noodles, you'll love Vietnam. Complex bone broths, fresh noodles made from rice flour, and meat prepared with love. Look at how slippery these suckers are. But the land of pho has much more to offer than hu tiu, ban can, or bun riu. I haven't really seen any other Vietnamese foods that have tomato inside. Now you see. Today we're digging deep, searching some of the city's back alleyways and obscure eateries on a mission to taste the best hidden noodles of Saigon. There's kind of an interesting I fermented, musty so smell, mm -hmm. aroma coming from here. From the chewiest texture sensation, I mean, look at this. They have loaded this thing with meat to noodles that stare back at you. I can see it looking at me from here. So grab your noodle spoon and get ready to carb up. We're going on a noodle tour. I am with One Trip Guide, Yuen. Hi. And today she's gonna to be taking me all around Saigon trying the craziest noodles we can find. First, we're gonna have some uh, Vietnamese favorite river fish, the snack head fish noodle. Why are they using the head of the fish and not some other part? No, that's the name of the fish. That would be the whole fish, but the name is snake head fish. Oh, we're putting a whole fish and just the head part of the fish is a snake, right? Let's go find out. After only one year on the market, Fan Lei is killing it, creating a buzz among locals and already opening a second location. And it's all thanks to this fish with an oddly shaped head. That is unmistakably the snake head right there. The snake head. Fish, my bad. But when you look at it, it looks like the head of a snapping turtle. Is this what's gonna be in the noodles? Yeah, the head of the snake head fish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today's snake head fish noodle starts with blanched bun or vermicelli, then four to five pieces of snake head fish body, then a fish bone stock, shaved beans, some water lily flowers. Oh, wow. This is a lot of stuff I haven't seen before in Vietnam. Then coriander, fried garlic, and that's it. Oh, wait. I think we're forgetting something. We will also have a snake head fish. I can see it looking at me from here. The fish head has been marinated in turmeric, steamed, and now bathed in broth. Now all three of us are almost ready to eat. We need another head for you. I would feel so bad to eat this <laughs> head alone. Oh, uh, okay. Honestly, it looks about as nice as you can make a snake head fish head look. It's very cute. <laughs> And it's just like a little turtle in there. There's so much going on here. Yeah. They've got the young banana, some... Morning glory. What's that? That is a bitter veggie. It tastes a little bit bitter. Oh, okay. Oh, and here we have also some uh, water lily. Water lily, yeah. Yes. She's like, hey, I practice these words. You better mention these foods. <laughs> Let's make some uh, sauce first. Chili sauce. <laughs> squeezing in some, some... kumquat. Bam. Oh, <laughs> not bam. Bam! Put some veggie into our bowl. I'm not gonna put in as many vegetables, but I'll put in some. I'm gonna mix this up. And I gotta say, that fish looks really stunning. Yeah. It's yellow, it looks very firm, like it's got some body to it. I can't wait to try this out. Yeah. It looks very delicious. Let's go for it. Mmm, mm, so yummy. Soft, tender, a good kick from this chili salt yeah. here. A ton of turmeric powder on mm. there. Here we got the classic boon <laughs> kind of vermicelli noodle. Mix it with some vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm, I love it. Those vegetables are great. They're adding some wonderful aroma and flavor. The broth itself, oh, I didn't get a spoon. Emma, Whoa. Yeah. savory. It's got that kind of fatty fish essence yeah. without being fishy. This is a really unique breakfast, though, yeah. including the actual head. Oh, mm -hmm. that looks good. It's wow. got some skin on there, some meat. Put it in our little sauce yeah. mixture. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm, that's delicious. Very hearty. Good amount of fat in there. Oh, what the oh, fudge? Oh, open the mouth. There's a huge tongue in here. Is that a tongue? Can I eat this? That's a tongue that has a bone in it. Very fatty. What we're gonna do next is just take the time to fully consume all the meat uh, around the skull, and then we're gonna go to our next location. We'll eat a very interesting noodle. Uh -oh. Uh, fermented oh, no. <laughs> fish sauce 
noodles. The way you said interesting, I was like, I know I'm in for something that isn't spaghetti. For over 20 years, patrons have been coming through these doors for a bowl of noodles you could practically smell from across the city. What do you call that kind of sauce? Mum. Mum. Mum is the noodle. Mum means... Fermented. Fermented. Okay, this is going to be intense. Shrimp, squid, pork, Everything you see here is bought fresh and cooked in-house. This is like a whole meat pie. Yeah. Am I allowed to take home a cake? <laughs> no. Listen, my birthday is coming up. Oh, I want this kind of cake. Oh, okay. There's kind of an interesting I fermented, musty no, no. smell, mm -hmm. aroma coming from here. Is there just one thing on the menu here? Oh yeah. They have a, a normal one and a special version. Mm. A special would be like more food for you. More food? Yeah. More meat? Yes. More pie? Yes. Every day, over a thousand hungry diners order up some bun mam. Starting with blanche vermicelli, pork belly, squid, shrimpies, crab cake, my favorite kind of cake, then broth containing a fermented fish paste and eggplant. Whoa, this is one of the meatiest noodles I've tried. Yeah. We've got a huge brothy meaty bowl here. I'm yes. just gonna do a, a, a big old sniff. Mm. It's tantalizingly pungent, very strong smell. Yeah, let's put some veggie into our bowl. Okay, a lot of different things happening. Mm -hmm. Then we add some lamb into it. Oh, look at that close-up yeah. lime shot. That's nice. What is this, an Applebee's commercial? <laughs> Then we mix it together. We're just trying to get the veggies submerged, yeah. soaking up that broth. I want some of that pie. If you guys think I'm joking about buying a, a <laughs> crab cake pie, yeah. I'm not. I'm doing it after this. Look at that massive, meaty piece. That looks so delicious. We're going to give it a little dip. Let's go for it. Mmm! Oh, so good. Bouncy, savory, some of that crabby mm. flavor in there. Like mock crab legs, kind of. I'm going to get a big bunch of noodles here, some of the eggplant. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The eggplant is have absorbed the broth. Yeah, absolutely. Lot, yeah. Eggplant, very juicy, soft. It's just oh. been boiled to heck in that broth. The broth itself, it's got some stinkiness to it, mm -hmm. but in your mouth, it tastes a lot better. Yeah, and very flavorful. They've got this little octopus in here. Yeah. Let's give it a little dip. Mmm, so crunchy. There's even fish in here. What kind of fish is this? Mm. She's looking closely at the fish, studying it. She's kind of a fish archaeologist. Yeah. What kind of fish is it? Kind of river fish. It's a river fish. Yeah. It's a fish from a river. Mm. Mm. Wow. Firm, flaky, and no bones. How much is this bowl? 70,000. Which is a little higher than normal for noodles yes. in Vietnam. Yeah. But we just have so much meat in here. I mean, we could sew all this meat together and make a whole new animal. <laughs> Our next hidden noodley destination features bun wei, or stirred noodles, with meat cooked directly in the bowl. We try to create, add more things in, like fish cake and shrimp cake. That tastes better. Noodle making. Step one, have someone hand you a ball of noodle dough. Oh, I want to sleep on this at night. It's dough made out of rice flour, very dense, ready to be noodleified. Step two, insert the dough. Here we have a hydraulic press that is going to force down into uh -huh. here. It's basically like a giant Play-Doh machine. Step three, boil the water beneath the noodle press. Up here, and it's going to come right out the bottom. Oh, <laughs> that freaked me out. Whoa, that's so fast. That took like a half a second. I thought I was gonna die for a second. Finally, the noodles are shocked in cold water to stop the cooking process. With the noodles complete, she starts on the fish and crab cake. Made by smearing a thin layer of fish paste and another of shrimp paste, then cooking them in boiling hot water. Once cooked, they're peeled off, tossed on the noodles, then instead of broth, it gets a load of chili salt and scallions, topped with the noodle water and black pepper. Now comes the best part, making your own custom sauce. The reason why I let the customer do it by themselves because I want them to have their own taste. You can choose between MSG, fresh chilies, and more. Michelle is whipping up her favorite, starting with chili salt, sugar, and kumquat. The owner showed me how to make this amazing sauce, mm -hmm. and I was too afraid to ask what the sauce is actually for. <laughs> what is the sauce for? This broth, this is only water, so usually we'll put some more sauce into the broth. Really? You kind of create your own broth. Mm, yeah. Drizzle that mm. on top. Wow. Look at that food shot. From here, give it the old mixer -oo. I really love the unique way she's cooked the meat here. Mm, it's just yeah. a simple paste from shrimp and from fish, and then when she cooks them up, they just cook right in the bowl. This is obviously the shrimp one here. It's turned orange like a shrimp will do. And again, we will dip into the sauce. Oh, let's mm -hmm. try it out. Oh. Mm. 
Wow. Great texture. This still has that shrimpy bounciness mm, to it. Everything is cooked when we just order. So right. Everything is still so fresh to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's try these noodles out. I'm so interested that mm -hmm. this broth, it's like kind of just a water broth and we built our own broth. Yeah, let's try let's it out. See. Mm. Mm, super fresh, light, mild flavors, nothing too powerful. Good amount of citrus in there from our kumquat. That's very delicious. Right, look at this. Look at this big piece of fish. All that was just some paste, and now it's uh, food. I'm gonna get some of this fish, some of these noodles, put it all together. Mm. This is a great contrast from our mm -hmm. last noodle. That noodle's kind of in your face, a little rough mm. and rowdy. This one's just gentle. It's the Meryl Streep of noodles. Mm -hmm. It's got mm. class, elegance, it holds itself properly. Wow, that's a very good description. Do you know that person though? Mm -hmm. Do you know Meryl Streep? No. Mm -hmm. No, okay, that's okay. <laughs> but you still, you get my point, right? Yeah. Okay. our last stuff, a very famous ingredient from the middle of Vietnam, the baby clam noodle. This street side eatery is putting all the chewier seafood in one bowl for a texture sensation that will make your toes curl. But every quality protein still needs a noodly best friend. These are instant noodles. Yes, this one will mix really well with the seafood we're gonna taste. That's mm -hmm. awesome, let's get a bowl. For the pho and hu tiu, the owner's mom created this, clam noodles and friends. Starting with instant noodles, Vietnamese coriander, 73 tiny river clams, a load of finger snails and octopus. Then that sweet, salty, savory broth. The kind of broth you long for when you're trying to fill your emotional void with food to feel whole again. Also, fried garlic and onion. We have been through such a noodly adventure today, and here is just more of a Vietnamese instant noodle with this amazing, roaring, passionate, orangey red broth, yeah. and then tons of chewy seafood. First, add some more kumquat. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Skills. Mix it up and eat. Oh my gosh, those noodles become a nice, like, al dente. Oh, I got like million of baby clams here. Right. What animal is this? That's a sea snail. Why is it so long? Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little dip. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Wonderfully chewing in this sweet tamarind sauce. Yeah. These noodles look nice. It soaked up that broth nicely. Let's go for it. Mmm, that broth is so oily on the yeah. top. It's impossible to eat it without getting your lips kind of oily. <laughs> There's some nice aromatic fresh herbs in there, but otherwise spicy oil on top. There's a whole mm. spoon here full of tiny clams. There's about maybe 15 different little clams in mm -hmm. here. Let's try it out. Mmm, bouncy, chewy, but not Hard. It's a fun chewy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much is it for this bowl? A buck and a half for this. Yes. Wow, that's a good deal. I like that it's not trying to find any kind of balance. It's mm -hmm. just very rich. It's like noodley junk food, but mm -hmm. it's so good. Love it. Today has been a fun-filled noodley day. Yeah. I had a great time exploring all the rare hidden noodles of Saigon with mm -hmm. you. So thank you. Yeah. Awkward handshake? Okay. <laughs> For you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. A peace. Also, I did buy that <laughs> crab cake. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Should we cut it up? <laughs> yes! Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to get a birthday candle first. Looking for a new star.